Hello, my name is Chido. What a joy to have you again in today's broadcast. And since no time in God's presence is a waste, I decree and I declare you are blessed, you are lifted, you are enthroned in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic for today is experiencing the power of the Holy Ghost. Experiencing the power of of the Holy Ghost. I know so many of us really want to experience God's power. The Holy Ghost is God's power. And I know so many of us want to experience God's power. So this topic is very timely. Hallelujah. Now we're going to start by asking, who is the Holy Ghost? Who is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is a person. The Holy Ghost is a person. He is a person. So you don't refer to him as it. He is a he. So the Holy Ghost is a person. Then the Holy Ghost is the third person of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the third person of the Trinity. He is in charge of the affairs of the kingdom of God right here on earth. The Holy Spirit is in charge of the affairs of God's kingdom right here on earth today. But why all the counterfeits? That's a very good question. Why all these counterfeits? everybody claiming to be um, moving by the power of God meanwhile they are not now when there is a counterfeit that goes a long way to show that there is also the real thing so there can never be a counterfeit of a 30 naira notes because there is no such thing as a 30 naira note so those that are making fake notes will never make a 30 naira note they can only make a counterfeit of the 20 naira notes the 500 naira notes the 1000 naira notes there is no such thing as an 800 naira note so there is also no counterfeit of the 800 naira note because it does not even exist in the first place so wherever you see a counterfeit then that goes a long way to tell you that there is the real thing so don't be deceived that everything is fake out there there's the real thing there's the real power of god Why do I need the baptism of the Holy Ghost? That's the next question we are asking ourselves. Why do I need the baptism of the Holy Ghost? To live the overcomer's life. If I must live an overcomer's life, then I need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If you must live the overcomer's life, then you also need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now, another reason why we need the baptism of the Holy Ghost is to be an effective witness for Christ. Jesus Christ said he would go and that he will send us a comforter. Now, he said, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses. So, the first reason, the uppermost reason why we are given the power of the Holy Ghost is so that we can be effective witnesses for Jesus Christ. Now, how do I receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Number one, I need to be thirsty. I should have a hunger and a thirst for that baptism. And until I have that hunger inside of me to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, that is the only time I can be filled. And number two, pray out your heart to God. Let God know that you really, really desire this. And 
after your desire, you now pray. Pray out your heart to God. And the Bible says, He's a God that answered prayer. He hears, He sees, and He will surely answer that prayer. Then, believe and ex expect to receive directly. Believe and expect to receive the Holy Spirit from God. As long as we are able to believe and expect to receive, God will surely release the Holy Spirit upon us. You can also receive the Holy Spirit through word encounters. You can receive through word encounters. By the time you are studying the word of God, you are you can receive the Holy Spirit. Then you can also receive the Holy Spirit through what? Laying on of hands. Somebody that is filled with the Holy Spirit lays their hands on you, you would also receive the Holy Spirit through that means. I believe we have enjoyed this podcast, this broadcast. And if you have, please, Subscribe to this channel for more videos to come your way. God bless you. You are indeed lifted. In Jesus' name, amen.